Taarifa hizi mtazamaji unazidi kuzipokea kutoka chumba chetu cha habari hapa jijini Nairobi kwenye mitandao pia tupo kwenye mtandao wa Facebook ni TV47 Kenya kwenye mtandao wa X ni at TV47 News nami na utanipata at kilemi underscore Andrin. Tukisonga mbele ni kwamba kiongozi wa chama cha NAC Kenya Martha Karua na rais wa chama cha wanasheria nchini Faith Odhiambo ni miongoni mwa viongozi wanaotaka kuachiliwa mara moja kwa mwanaharakati Bonface Mwangi ambaye anasemekana kutekwa nyara na watu wasojulikana nyumbani kwake kaunti ya Machakos na kama anavyotuarifu mwanahabari wetu Mike Kagwongo mkewe Mwangi Njeri Mwangi anasema mwanaharakati huyo alichukuliwa na watu sita wanaosemekana kufika kwake asubuhi saa moja kabla ya kumchukua mumewe kwa nguvu na kuelekea kusikojulikana Kulingana na picha hizi za CCTV zilizopatikana nyumbani kwake Machakos, wanaume watana na mwanamke mmoja walionekana wakiingia kwenye boma hilo mwendo wa saa moja na dakika kumi asubuhi hii leo kabla ya kuondoka na mwanaharakati Boniface Mwangi na kuelekea kusikojulikana. There were five men ununiformed and masked and there was one woman with them and they walked him out and they didn't say who they were they didn't say where they were coming from what they were taking him for why they were taking him they just left Mkewe Mwangi Njeri Mwangi amesema mipango yake ya kujihusisha kwenye mbio za Standard Chartered Marathon ilichangia pakubwa kukamatwa kwake akikashifu jinsi maafisa hao walimkamata mumewe kwa nguvu bila taarifa He has been taken because of the the Stanchard marathon. He sent something about Occupy Stanchard and it was very clear. He said that people need to be safe, people need to just wear flags. When did it become a crime that to wear a flag in this country you will be arrested for? Kulingana na ujumbe wake kwenye mtandao wa kijamii Jumamosi jioni, mwanaharakati huyo aliwataka wafuasi wake kujitokeza kwenye mbio hizo wakiwa na mavazi yanayopinga utawala wa serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Pamoja na kuvaa kofia za rangi za kitaifa, kurekodi nyimbo za maandamano na kuzisambaza mtandaoni na kuleta mabango yenye ujumbe kwa rais William Ruto. Mwanaharakati huyo aliwahimiza wafuasi wake kuvaa bendera ya taifa kama sehemu ya vazi lao la michezo. Cuz once they come taking people like this from their homes in front of my sons. He was at home with his sons. My son watched all this. What happens to children, our children as they are growing up watching these things happening? Baada ya kukamatwa, Mwangi alipelekwa katika kituo cha polisi cha Kamukunji ambako alizuiliwa kabla ya kuhojiwa na maafisa wa idara ya upelelezi wa jinai DCI. Rais wa chama cha wanasheria nchini LSK, Faith Odhiambo ameitaka serikali kumwachilia Mwangi bila masharti au kumfikisha mahakamani wapo wanakisiwa kuwa na hatia kama ilivyodaiwa. The information we are receiving has just been held here but he was arrested and charges have been preferred by the DCI. Viongozi wa kisiasa wakiongozwa na kinara wa chama cha NAC Kenya Martha Karua wametia dosari jinsi maafisa wa serikali wanavyofanya uchunguzi wakidai kuwa kumekuwa na kikosi cha mauaji kilichobuniwa kwa nia ya kuwateka nyara na hatimaye kuwaua wa Kenya wasio na hatia We have credible sources who have indicated that there is a special abduction stroke killer squad which is comprised of both police and army officers. We know for a fact that there are security agencies who are specifically targeting human rights defenders, some journalists and some activists with the intention of intimidating them. Kutekwa nyara kwa mwanaharakati Boniface Mwangi kunaibua maswali si haba ni vipi na ni lini visa vya utakaji nyara wa lazima vitakwisha nchini licha ya ahadi ya Rais William Ruto kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu kwamba serikali ya Kenya kwanza haitajihusisha na visa vyo vyote vile vya utakaji nyara wa lazima. Mike Kagwongo TV47 kutoka katika kituo cha polisi cha Kamukunje Nairobi